Hello, good evening, and welcome back. I like to juxtapose a couple of nations' differences in how it comes to national heritage. So we're going to start in the UK, with a gang of five Nighthawkers are banned from metal detecting at all Britain's historic sites after raiding castles and looting priceless artifacts, including gold coins and Brock's axe heads. And this is, of course based on the lack of respect that they have for patriotism, for British history, and what it is that our ancestors have done in centuries gone by in order to generate the country of which we now inhabit. And the juxtaposition is of that with Russia, with their VE Day celebrations, the Victoria Day, Victory in Europe Day, um, as you can see with their military presence going through Red Square and the rest of Moscow. That obviously they do not doubt their patriotism whatsoever and have a lovely firework display as well in order to commemorate their victory. The last main one we had was of course for the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. Um, commemorated in 1918, so 2018 or 19, depending on when you view the transition between the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Air Force. Uh, but that was our, our last main one with our fly past over London. But seeing this kind of presence in London is, of course, unseen, unheard of, and would primarily be obscene if you were to see tanks and big screens and missile carriers and military processions than there would be obscene in the UK. However, I do think quite honestly that these two actually go hand in hand given the difference in propositions betwixt our two countries. So the UK, of course, trying to pretend itself as patriotic is trying to say this is worthwhile in order to conserve our British values and our British history and should be turned over to the state. Cool, except they go as far as to say that this is stealing. I was like, well, okay, cool, right. So if the rightful owner doesn't collect it in a couple of weeks and it's been over 50 years, then I'm pretty sure at that point it belongs to the founder or the finder like, yeah surely that, that's, that's got to be theirs but no instead they're, they're saying that no that's not going to be the case and that ties into the broader perspective of patriotism and nationalism and love for our country so obviously Great Britain is a great country uh, we, we don't have any qualms about that whatsoever having gone from the Doomsday Book to ending the slave trade the world over um, and other such prospects and conquests, Britain has clearly been a force for good around the entire planet. All 192 countries of which we have conquered, we've brought something worthwhile to. Um, and that is most certainly without a doubt. You can look at Libya and what a shit old country that is if you wish to try and dispute the fact and academic agent has done a phenomenal video on such a topic should you wish to delve into Libya Liberia sorry Liberia so given all that then of course Britain has done a good job so 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 then We've got two points which mildly conflict. One is if it has been over the 50 years threshold, then who's to stop these metal detectorists from finding that value? And the other comes more down to the psychological perspective, which is to say that if there is not enough patriotism built in British schools, then you cannot expect them to perpetuate patriotism once they leave school, as is the case here. So as nice as it is to try and offer a rounded view of history, if there isn't enough to show all the good that the UK has done, then of course there will be no respect for the British culture and the British way of doing things. 
in which case quite naturally you're only going to see more of this metal detector extravaganza as well as other graffiti on historical monuments because there isn't nearly enough care given for them so it comes back down to the education in order to encourage and teach children as to the importance of the United Kingdom and what we've done the world over and how our ancestors are responsible for where they are at the moment. So yeah, it is of course quite easy to blame the criminals and to try and say you shouldn't do such graffiti over such a lovely piece of art. Obviously that's an easy way to go about things, but hey, how's about instead of addressing the symptoms, we address the cause. And the cause is, of course, a lack of love and respect for the great country that these lucky people have been born into and raised up in. In which case, that is what we need to focus on. And that is, of course, what the education system is not focusing on. And the beggars believe that if you have a national mandated school curriculum, that you would at the very least include at least a slightly small amount of how Britain has had such a monumental impact on the rest of the world. And this is through doing that and the development of the culture that you are going to see less vandalism and graffiti and so on. And people are going to be more secured and feel more safe at home and not have to go about having a uh, extravagant security system in order to feel that they can sleep peacefully at night. Because, let's be honest with it, unfortunately... That is the case as it stands. The people need to have some sort of monitored alarm system in order to be able to sleep peacefully at night. Whether that be a concierge or an external service, ADT being the biggest and virtual being the fastest growing, that they need something like that in order to feel secure at their own home simply because the education system is letting us down in terms of suggesting that Britain is simply an evil state and doesn't have anything worthwhile to fight for. And that is going to be particularly important when Russia decides to cook off in Ukraine again. But that's it for me, so as always. Let me know what you guys think down below if you think that, yeah, this is just a criminal issue and therefore if we can try and stop him from robbing our particular houses then we're all safe or if you think no actually it's more of a systemic issue and therefore education system needs to be changed in order to encourage the nationalism patriotism and the belief in the UK nation then let me know but either way let me know down below always intrigued to what you guys have to say and of course as always until next time have a good one